Okay, guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to review and do some weird stuff with this portable wireless power by Tech2 or Tech Square, however you want to call it. It claims to have double the charge or twice charge a knife. Claims to charge an iPhone 12 two times, has USB Type-C, has... 2 USB A and 10 watt fast charge wireless. That 10 watt fast charge, I'm not sure if I would say 10 watt is fast charge, but yeah, whatever. And the 10,000 milliamp per charger. Now that is a bold claim. 10,000 milliamp to fit on this one. I have a real hard time believing it. A real hard time believing it. Anyway, we will test it, and we will see what does it have to offer. Let's go on with our trusty, friendly knife. You are not supposed to cut anything towards you. Kids, don't do this at home, and don't do what I'm doing. Find an alternative way to open it, or just tell your parents or your older siblings to do it for you. I'm doing it because, you know... I have too many fingers. I have 10 on my hands, 10 on my feet. So, you know, 20 fingers, it's plenty. But that's why I may not care that much. That's the second bank. And uh, let's see what came in with. Okay. It came with two, seems to be micro USB chargers. Yes, it still charges with micro USB. And there's something in my nail. Uh, yes, I'm not going to bother with the instructions on the back of the uh, package. It's uh, made in China. Made from tech2audio.com. Not sponsored, by the way. I'm just reviewing it because I I would like to review it. And it has strong suction cups. So you put the phone on top of it and it will suck your phone. No, I'm just joking. It will hold your phone a little bit, but nah, don't rely on it that much. Okay, so now, this will not be activated unless you activate it manually. And as far as I know, if you put the phone here, and yes, actually, it attaches good to the phone. As you see, this is a, Note tw a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And uh, yeah, it's attached good. But to use it, you have to press this button. Now it's on, and let's see if it starts charging. Let's put the phone back here. And let's wait and hope for the best. <laughs> yes, it started charging, as you see right here. The uh, charging symbol has come on, and it's 35%, and we will leave it there on the side. With the second one... We'll test something else. So with the second one, press the button. It has three bars, as you see right here. That's an indication that it is full. The fourth is a green LED light. That's not a bar. And uh, let's try to charge this other phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy A51 or A52, if I'm not wrong. Let's plug this one in from the USB-C. That is going to be very interesting. Okay, now it's active. We plug the USB-C in one side and the other C in the other side. And let's see if it starts charging, if that's the case. This one, as you see, it's still charging. And this one is not giving any sign of life. And for some reason, as you see, there's no sign of life. Let me try USB-A to USB-C, if that works. Here we go. Let's take the C to C. And yes, all these USB cables work because they're my personal daily drivers. Here we go with USB type A to USB C. And uh, it seems to start working right here. Yes, 
as you see, I'm not sure if the ring light will allow you to see it, but yes, it has started charging it. Uh, oh, this one ha is full. So we're wasting time on this one. Okay, we'll take this one out, I guess. And uh, try this Motorola. That's a Motorola G5, I think. Uh, stylus, they call it. And uh, it's a USB-C powered as well. Now let's see if it starts charging it. Yes, I see the bolt. It's 88%. Let's see how long will it take for it to go to 100%. And the third one will be a Samsung. I think it's a 10. I, I don't know the name of this one. I'm, so I'm not going to attempt to tell you something I don't remember right now. And yes, these are all my devices, but I don't really use them daily. So I'm not going to start anything. I don't know. And this one, we're not going to use wireless charging, but we're going to plug in two devices at the same time. And the ports here, I'm not liking how tight they are. Tight in a bad way, not in a good way. And uh, let's plug this uh, power here. And yes, as you see, it started... Uh, Charging it, looks like. So let's see if it uh, kicks it in. And all these devices seem to be charged for some reason. I had them off for a long time. I thought these would be dead, but apparently they're not. And this one is still charging, 36%. So we started at 35. And the lights are on. So that means it's still charging this one is uh 89 this one 77 percent okay so i will uh leave them charging and we will all see on the camera on fast forward how fa uh, fast will it take to charge them okay before i let them completely drain and Mind you, this whole time, these device, these uh, two battery backups that you see here are just I, as I took them from the box. They have not been charged. I don't even know the level of battery they have inside. I am stress testing them. In this one, as you see, I have two devices. In this one, I have only one device wirelessly charging. But to be fair, this one had three bars, but would drop on two within a second and this one had three bars full and just to let you know this one has these uh ba battery chargers have a led light on the back right here that's an led light let me try to turn it on for you and uh, no you it looks like you cannot oh yeah you double click and you have a nice LED light, actually. Very nice one. It's not maybe the brightest, but it's a pretty good LED light. Okay, let's turn the LED light off. Let's put these two and leave them alone charging. Now, I'm going to put on the side two cameras. They're actually very low power, so they should not, ideally or theoretically, add too much stress on the battery if they're really 10,000 uh, milliamps, right? That's 10 amps. So in here, what we're going to do, I'm going to add the two cameras on it and see how long it takes for us to make these battery backups drop on their knees. Yes, I know. Most YouTubers you see, they will test these batteries with one device or amper meter. Nope. In this channel, we seek to see their demise somehow. <laughs> we end up, whether we like it or not, <laughs> and we end up seeking the demise of our devices. <laughs> okay, and this camera, I'm not sure if you can see it. Actually, the battery is dead. It's red. So we'll put it there, and we will insert the second camera. They're both dead because I know I filmed something with them already. So I'm going to put the second one, which should be dead as well. Just like.
fully charged. We have a tablet that's on its way to be fully charged, 87%. I had to put a light. This is just a work light, as you see, to charge since my Moto went already 100%. I couldn't charge anymore on it. The two cameras are right now fully charged. And the Samsung uh, Note 20 Ultra is 62 from 35. I could 100% stand behind this product. Let me unplug everything right now. Yes, we are done with our little experiment here. Let's go there. Let's take the light back there. Let's unplug everything from them. Let's take a lot of cables out of our way, which there's a lot of them. I honestly love this suction stuff here. As you see, both batteries are on one bar right now. This one is a little bit uh, warm. I wouldn't say hot, hot as burning hot. It's warm here in the head. This one is not. This one is a little bit cold to the touch. Let's unplug all these two. And uh, the cameras, if you just want to see one of them. I'm not sure if you can see the battery because of the light. But it's almost full. And these were at zero zero we're talking about real zero let's put them back on the side there and the other camera is not full but this one i know it has a problem so i'm not going to fault the power banks for it let's take the cables out let's take the phone out as i said i am not sponsored by tech square or tech 2 whatever you want to call them but they did their job Way better than I expected. Extremely satisfied and happy with them. We are talking about two batteries or power banks that I bought for $25, bucks, $24.99. Brand new, and the package comes with two of them in it, which is absolutely amazing for the price, which you're paying around, what, 12 bucks and change per each. And they outrun my expectations. And as you see, they have two little LED lights. Let me turn off the main light here. As you see, they have two beautiful LEDs. Not the most blinding ones, but in need, it will do the job. And I would say that actually these LEDs run quite, long, quite a long time. And uh, I don't always... Uh, on my reviews, I, I, I'm i not always just, you know, positive everything and just, you know, it's all good and dandy. No, if it's bad, it's bad. As you saw in my previous video about the Samsung soundbar, I was really disappointed. And yes, I gave my honest opinion whether people like it or not. I like to review things and say what I see and what I test. And with when it comes to these two power banks... I am extremely satisfied, and they blew my expectation levels. I am beyond excited and happy for them. Really, this company, Tech2, I'm not sure if they are the ones who make them or they just put their logo on them, but they're doing a great job. Let me put it right here so you can see the specs. You can pause the video and... Uh, Read the specs as it says right there. 600 watt hours, capacity, uh, 10,000 milliamp hours, and all that stuff, which in the beginning, I was really doubtful. I thought, yeah, right, 10,000 milliamps on this one. Well, they looks like they found a way to cram some real power. Now, in the future, I'm going to make a video on how to take a regular solar panel that you can get from either Home Depot or Harbor Freight or Lowe's, one of those solars that comes with lights. I think sometimes in Amazon too, they sell them for a couple of bucks. They produce four to nine volts output. We will modify that and we will put a micro SD in the other side of the solar panel so you can take these with you and charge them with a solar panel. It's going to be a very easy mod on how to do that. 
And you cannot just charge these power banks. You can charge any power bank. And just stay tuned for that video. will be out soon. And as per these Tech Square batteries, oh, I wish I was sponsored, but I'm not. I had to buy them with my own money. But I am extremely happy. Great job. Great job, I gotta say. And with that said, this video is ended. Please like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. If that's too much for you, I still thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time. Bye!